http colon slash slash www.un.org slash esa slash soc dev slash enable slash conv info guide dot htm un program on disability working for full participation and equality guiding principles of the convention there are eight guiding principles that underlie the convention and each one of its specific articles. A. Respect for inherent dignity, individual autonomy including the freedom to make one's own choices, and independence of persons. B. Non-discrimination. C. Full and effective participation and inclusion in society. D. Respect for difference and acceptance of persons with disabilities as part of human diversity and humanity. E. Equality of opportunity. F. Accessibility. G. Equality between men and women. H. Respect for the evolving capacities of children with disabilities and respect for the right of children with disabilities to preserve their identities. A. Respect for inherent dignity, individual autonomy including the freedom to make one's own choices, and independence of persons. Each person is entitled to make their own choices, and be assisted in doing so when necessary. B. Non-discrimination Non-discrimination is a fundamental concept of all human rights law, and is found in all human rights conventions. Discrimination is impermissible both in direct and indirect forms. For example, it is direct discrimination for an employer to refuse to employ someone on the basis of their disability, provided that person can perform the job with reasonable accommodations provided by the employer. It is indirect discrimination, for example, if during voting for elected officials, accessible ballots are not made available for persons with visual impairments. Society must make reasonable accommodation for persons with disabilities. Failure to provide reasonable accommodation is a form of discrimination. Reasonable accommodation means that adjustments and modifications to the environment should be made, in order to allow persons with disabilities to exercise the same rights and freedoms as others. C full and effective participation and inclusion in society. There are different levels on which participation of persons with disabilities is addressed in the convention. One participation is a guiding principle underlying the entire convention and its specific articles. Two ensuring the maximum participation in all activities of persons with disabilities is an obligation of the state and of the society. Three participation is a right which persons with disabilities have a legal right to claim. Why is participation important? Full participation in all aspects of society is important in order to empower individuals to fulfill their potentials as citizens and contributing members of their communities. D. Respect for difference and acceptance of persons with disabilities as part of human diversity and humanity. E. Equality of opportunity. F. Accessibility. The concept of accessibility is specifically addressed in Article 9, but it is also a guiding principle of the convention. This convention marks the first time that accessibility is mentioned in an international human rights instrument, and it is defined within the convention in a highly comprehensive manner. It is not sufficient to only bestow rights to persons, 
but it is also necessary to ensure that persons can feasibly access and enjoy what is bestowed by these rights. Without access, rights are only theoretical. When thinking of accessibility, one often thinks of providing ramps to buildings for wheelchair users. However, accessibility goes much further than wheelchair ramps. Society must ensure access to things such as roads, public transportation systems, pedestrian signs, public facilities, schools, hospitals and clinics, housing, workplaces, information and communication, websites, telephone systems. When one stops to think about it, one begins to realize how much of society is inaccessible to significant portions of its members. The concept of accessibility as defined in the convention is part of the paradigm shift that the convention represents in the evolution of thinking of development and disability. G. Equality between men and women. H. Respect for the evolving capacities of children with disabilities and respect for the right of children with disabilities to preserve their identities. United Nations, 2007 Department of Economic and Social Affairs Division for Social Policy and Development About Us Secretariat for the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities The Secretariat for the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities is the focal point within the United Nations system on matters relating to disability. It is housed in the Division for Social Policy and Development which is responsible for activities related to social policy and development, poverty eradication, and employment, generational issues and integration, inclusive development, NGO issues, and indigenous issues. The division is part of the Department of Economic and Social Affairs of the United Nations Secretariat in New York. The mandate of the Secretariat for the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities includes the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities adopted in 2006, the Standard Rules on Equalization of Opportunities for Persons with Disabilities adopted in 1994, and the World Programme of Action Concerning Disabled Persons adopted in 1982. In addition, the Secretariat prepares publications and acts as a clearinghouse for information on disability issues, promotes national, regional, and international programs and activities, provides support to governments and non-governmental organizations, and gives substantial support to technical cooperation projects and activities. The major objectives of the Secretariat for the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities are the following, I to support the full and effective participation of persons with disabilities in social life and development, 2. To advance the rights and protect the dignity of persons with disabilities and, 3. To promote equal access to employment, education, information, goods, and services. Mandates of the Secretariat for the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities World Program of Action Concerning Disabled Persons Standard Rules on the Equalization of Opportunities for Persons with Disabilities Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Technical Cooperation and Voluntary Fund on Disability at realuphuman.net 2018 Actively servicing the truth to all time human history Humans making aspirations to truthfully define our reality in every moment to moment we exist and every action that we make
concept of tools offered to our collective legacy attached to the opportunity of individual immortality. Cramo bone is an African adink cross symbol of wisdom wise guidance. The meaning of the Cramo bone means one bad makes all look bad or the bad makes it difficult for the good to get noticed. It is a warning against deception and hypocrisy. Display the Cramo bone as little or as large as you like on all documents and art within your life. This includes all documents and sharing items interplaying negotiation contracts or friendship of all kinds of interpersonal relationships. Review the Wikipedia article on Solomon's Knot to the power of the Solomon's Knot symbol. Thank you for bringing some history wisdom back into usage perspectives within worldwide lives. At growup.net great reasons us will unite peace. This is a fill in graphic. That you can use freely dash share as you like. Add your names dash find a new form file at the root of at realuphuman.net. Scan the QR code in this image to access the YouTube video Joe Scott the very real possibility that you could live forever. The single most important thing that is going to happen in our lifetimes with advancements in artificial intelligence. Peace to you and your family friends and circles of community. Peace to our world. For more information about Adink Cross symbols and other details of peace building, link to communitygrowup.net there are no spam links at this site. Content is marked by site advisor as safe in the category as education slash reference. At Grow Up 2018, great reasons us you there, I hear, and all interested persons of community will unite peace. Please share this video outward and unite honesty wisdom priorities in all aspects of our lives. Sankofa. Go back to fetch it. African Adink cross symbol of the wisdom of learning from the past to build for the future. It is not taboo to go back and get what was forgotten. This can be within one's own individual lifespan or back through all time human history. The wisdom lost may save the world. I rephrase that, the wisdom lost will save the world in rational thinking. At Grow Up 2018, great reasons us will unite peace.